Dr. Vivek Murthy is making history. He is the first Surgeon General of Indian descent. He's also one of the youngest in history. That position had been vacant for more than a year. The Surgeon General is the nation's chief spokesman on public health issues. That includes the expanding measles outbreak. There are at least 131 cases spanning 14 states. The debate over vaccinations is intensifying among both parents and politicians. Dr. Murphy joins us now from Washington in his first television interview. Good morning. Good morning, Charlie. It's good to be with you and Nora and Gail. Well, it's a pleasure to have you. you. Uh, tell me how concerned you are about the spread of measles. Well, I'm very concerned, Charlie, about the spread of measles and about this particular outbreak that we're having. As you know, we eliminated measles in the year 2000 in the United States, uh, and that was, that was in a very important time. But we've seen a resurgence of measles in the United States. And, you know, this, the good news about this is that we know how to eliminate measles, and at the heart of that strategy is getting vaccinated. Mr. Surgeon General, you don't see an outbreak of measles in states where they have mandatory vaccinations. You see some of the largest outbreaks in states where they have personal health exemptions or religious exemptions. Do we need to rethink those? Well, this has been a concern for many, including myself, that we've seen increasing rates of exemptions uh, among mm -hmm. clusters uh, in our country. And the key point I want to make here is that while the overall vaccination rate in the United States is still high, what matters is that we have pockets uh, throughout the country where those vaccination rates are low. And when you're in a pocket with low vaccination rates, that's when you find yourself a greater risk of getting measles. So why do you think there is so much confusion over the vaccines in the first place? And what can we do to alleviate a lot of the public fears? Well, there has been a lot of confusion, as, as you mentioned, but the key point I want to make about the vaccine is that it is safe and effective. And there have been rumors uh, started by a study that came out of England a few years ago uh, that made the claim that there was a link between autism and the measles vaccine, or more specifically, the MMR vaccine. Uh, when, and we ahead, now know that that research study was debunked uh, multiple times at multiple sources. It was found to be a fraudulent study. And many medical experts, including the Institute of Medicine, have weighed in saying that the measles vaccine is safe, that it does not uh, have any evidence that it's linked to autism. And so the, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. I want you to finish. I just thought I thought you'd finish. Well, well, the key, the key point that we want to make here is that the vaccine is safe and effective and, in fact, quite effective. If you get both doses of the vaccine as is recommended, then you have a, a protection rate of 97 percent, which is pretty good. And the contrast that with the fact that if you don't get vaccinated and you are exposed to measles, then you have a 90 percent chance of catching the illness. Uh, when politicians say things like this is from Senator Rand Paul, I've heard of many tragic cases of walking, taking talking normal children who wound up with profound mental disorders after vaccines. Does that help the conversation? Well, I think what we need to focus on in this conversation is the science, because the science ultimately more than personal anecdotes and more than anything else is what should drive our decisions as individuals and as families. And look, I, I understand that there are pa parents who, who are concerned about vaccines. And I know that that concern comes from ultimately just wanting to do what's best for your kid and wanting to protect your child. But what the science tells us very clearly is that the best way to protect your child and to protect other children and other members of the community is to get vaccinated. It is safe and it is effective. Mr. Surgeon General, while we have you here, I want to get you on the record about whether you support the legalization of marijuana and what concerns do you have? Well, marijuana is an interesting story that's unfolding in our country right now. And I, I, we have you know, had a long history of discussion around the benefits and, and risks of marijuana. We have experiments that are going on in many states right now where medical marijuana has been legalized and in at least a few states where it has been legalized even we, for recreational use. We know all use. of that. We want to know mm -hmm. your position, Mr. Surgeon General, with all due respect. Yes, well, I, my position is that we have, to, we have to see what the science tells us about the efficacy of marijuana. And I think we're going to get a lot more data on that. We have some preliminary data showing that for certain medical conditions and symptoms, that marijuana can be helpful. So I think that we have to use that, that data to drive policymaking. And I'm very interested to see where that data takes us. Dr. Vivek Murthy, we thank you for doing your first live interview with us here on CBS. Good to thank see you. Thank you so sir. much. Thank Great you. Great to be with you. Thank you.